This is not about right or left. We couldn't care less about your party politics. From a sustainability perspective, the right, the left, as well as the center have all failed. No political ideology or economic structure has been able to tackle the climate and environmental emergency and create a cohesive and sustainable world. Because that world, in case you haven't noticed, is currently on fire. You say children shouldn't worry. You say, just leave this to us. We will fix this. We promise we won't let you down. Don't be so pessimistic. And then, nothing. Silence. Or something worse than silence. Empty words and promises which give the impression that sufficient action is being taken. All the solutions are obviously not available within today's societies, nor do we have the time to wait for new technological solutions to become available to start drastically reducing our emissions. So, of course, the transition isn't going to be easy. It will be hard, and unless we start facing this now, together with all cards on the table, we won't be able to solve this in time. In the days running up to the 50th anniversary of the World Economic Forum, I joined a group of climate activists demanding that you, the world's most powerful and influential business and political leaders, begin to take the action needed. We demand at this year's World Economic Forum participants from all companies, banks, institutions and governments immediately halt all investments in fossil fuel exploration and extraction, immediately end all fossil fuel subsidies and immediately and completely divest from fossil fuels. We don't want these things done by 2050, 2030, or even 2021. We want this done now. It may seem like we are asking for a lot, and you will, of course, say that we are naive. But this is just the very minimum amount of effort that is needed to start the rapid sustainable transition. So either you do this, we are going to have to explain to your children why you are giving up on the 1.5 degree target. Giving up without even trying. Well, I'm here to tell you that unlike you, my generation will not give up without a fight. The facts are clear, but they are still too uncomfortable for you to address. You just leave it because you think it's too depressing and people will give up. But people will not give up. You are the ones who are giving up. Last week, I met with Polish coal miners who lost their jobs because their mine was closed. And even they had not given up. On the contrary, they seem to understand the fact that we need to change more than you do. I wonder, what will you tell your children was the reason to fail and leave them facing a climate chaos that you knowingly brought upon them? That it seemed so bad for the economy that we decided to the resign the idea of securing future living conditions without even trying? Our house is still on fire. Your inaction is fueling the flames by the hour. And we are telling you to act as if you loved your children above all else. Thank you. <laughs>